All right, turning to entertainment news now, ABC's Jason Nathanson has the latest headlines from Hollywood. What is it? Better question is, what's inside of it? Some ghosts are going to get busted this weekend. The film Ghostbusters Frozen Empire out today, a sequel to the 2021 film Ghostbusters Afterlife, and it's the first Ghostbusters film since the death of original director and producer Ivan Reitman. At the premiere in New York, star Bill Murray talked about how the film honors Reitman's legacy. The most we could do is to make a good movie that's funny. A really funny, good movie that people are going to love to come to. I think, I think we did. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is expected to top the box office this weekend. You sound just like every other politician. Do I look like every other politician? New today on streaming, Regina King stars in Shirley, a biopic about the first black woman to ever run for president, Shirley Chisholm. King says because of today's politics and racial climate in the U.S., the relevance of the film won't be lost on audiences. Well, I think, unfortunately, it was always the time for this, and it just so happens that we landed in a, a time and space where so many things that are that were happening in 72, we're mirroring them now. Shirley is streaming now on Netflix. The dragons are loose. It's our first look at season two of the Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon. HBO dropping two trailers. The green one, focusing on Team Alicent and King Aegon's side of things. The black one, from Rhaenyra's perspective. Season two hits HBO June 16th. And Oscar-winning actress and The Morning Show star Reese Witherspoon with a birthday today. She's 48. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Jason Athens in ABC News, Los Angeles.